Hello, this is Mr. Siddons. We're going to make some mental maps today. I know it sounds, looks kind of creepy because I'm standing in front of the projector, uh, but it's beaming into my face. And this is the last day you'll get to see this wonderful mustache. Anyway, um, we're going to make a mental map today. You should have already gone over your focus question and the mastery objective. Uh, it's probably in a Google slide that you should have accessed. I'm going to walk you through making your mental map today. First thing we need to do is we need any good map has uh, a map key. Okay, so we need to do a couple things. The first is let's make our compass rows, and in the top right corner, you're going to make a compass rows with an arrow north, south, east, and west. Never eat soggy waffles because soggy waffles are gross. Next thing you need to do is. Uh, I'm going to use blue here, but every time I make a wavy line like that, like a little bird, uh, that means it's water. Okay? And the second one is every time I make a green triangle, that equals uh, mountain ranges. I'm abbreviating, but you should not for time. So, water is blue, wavy lines that look like a bird. Can you see that? No, you can't, so let me show you it. Okay, water is blue, wavy lines, mountain range, green. Okay, all right, let me get back to red. Let's label some peninsulas. There are four peninsulas. One, two, three, four. A peninsula, as you know, is an area of land surrounded by water on three sides. The first one is the Iberian Peninsula. It's the land of Iberia. Iberian Peninsula. Please write the word peninsula. That's the first one. The second one looks like a boot. And that is the Italian. Okay? Every time you're looking to get your bearings and to figure out where things are, look for the boot. It looks like a high-heeled boot. Next is the Balkan Peninsula. B-A-L-K-A-N. That's the Balkan Peninsula. That's where Greece is located. While we're at it, please add in uh, a little nub here. Forgot to add in Greece. Talk about that later. Last one is the Anatolian Peninsula. You should write out the word peninsula. Down in the south, we have Egypt. We learned about Egypt in the first quarter. This whole area down here you need to label it is North Africa. That whole area is North Africa. Okay? All right. So let's, uh, let's label some bodies of water, shall we? Over here, all the way in the west, we have the Atlantic Ocean. When you stick your toes into the Jersey Shore or Ocean City, you're going to be stepping into the same ocean as those in Iberia. That's wonderfully interesting. All right, next body of water is the biggest one, the big kahuna, and that is the Mediterranean Basin. Spell it right. Okay, Mediterranean Basin. In between the Italian and the Balkan, we have another body of water, which is the Adriatic Sea. Okay, and before I move any further, I want to add in a bunch of little boxes down here, little squares, you can do dots. We're going to add in two things here, okay? The first, this is, this is known as the Aegean Islands, okay? And I'm going to add in another kind of long box. Here, this is the island of Crete, C-R-E-T-E, -E. okay? All among the Aegean islands, there are thousands of them. They're not all livable, but there are thousands of them. This is called the Aegean Sea, okay? Now, upper northwest corner is something that connects this area with Russia. This is called the Black Sea. 
it's Russia's only access to a warm water port. Not very important to our studies, but something to think about um, as you learn more about history. Okay, let's add in some mountains. Go to the northwest. We're going to add in some mountains by Iberia. Put in some triangles here. That is something called the Pyrenees Mountains. Then we have a whole big bootload of mountains that cover the Alps, or cover the Italian peninsula. It's basically like a protective wall right here, and this is called the Alps Mountains. They are some of the largest uh, mountain ranges in the world. Next set of mountains kind of connect, and we're going to connect them all the way into the Balkan and all the way down here. Okay, and these are called the Dinaric Alps. Super, super important when you're talking about making city-states. Okay. All right. Did we label the islands? Let's make a few more islands, shall we? Over here by the coast of Italy, we have an island called Corsica. Below Corsica, we have an island called Sardinia. Okay, and then one of the most important islands in the Mediterranean is being kicked by the boot of Italy, and this is called the island of Sicily. Okay, and we have our islands over there. All right. That is your map of the Mediterranean Basin. This concludes the end of your base map. We're going to flip it over and do the other one in the next video. Thanks for listening.